skin problems. In particular, I'm thinking of acne and skin tags and also skin pigmentation changes. And the reason for that is when we consume too many carbohydrates and we have insulin resistance, we produce an excessive amount of sebum, which is kind of the oil that comes out of our sebaceous glands in our skin. And if we produce too much oil, the right amount of oil is good. It helps keep our skin, the skin's moisture and the elasticity of the skin. However, when we produce too much of that, it can create a breeding ground for a bacterial infection. And then on top of that, the insulin resistance drives up skin inflammation. So we get too much inflammation in the skin along with the excess sebaceous uh, or sebum production from the sebaceous glands, and we can develop acne. So acne is really commonly associated with insulin resistance, with consuming too many carbohydrates, too many processed foods. Um, on top of that, uh, skin tags. A lot of people have skin tags. That's a sign that we're getting too much of that message from insulin telling the skin cells to grow, 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 grow. And so we get an excessive amount of growth and we end up with these skin tags that take place. And also skin pigmentation changes, that's a sign of too much oxidative stress in the skin. When we are not burning fat well for fuel and we're burning sugar primarily, glycolytic energy source, we produce a lot of oxidative stress. Think about it when we exercise, you know, you're exercising really intensely, you're burning mostly sugar when you're doing that because sugar can be burned in an anaerobic state. We don't need oxygen. We need oxygen to burn fat. What's a byproduct of the glycolytic energy source? It's lactic acid. And we feel this burn, right? And that's partly oxidative stress and lactic acid buildup in our muscles. Now that's normal and that's totally healthy. Our body will actually create more endogenous antioxidants to buffer and protect against the oxidative stress if it's done for short bouts. But when we're doing this continuously throughout the day or after every meal that we're consuming, we're producing way too much oxidative stress. And just like an apple, if you take a bite out of an apple and you leave it exposed to the air, it will start to brown, that's oxidation. That happens to our skin or really all the organ systems of our body. So you'll see skin pigmentation changes and you'll see age spots or liver spots, they're called, on the skin where you'll have browning of the skin. It's kind of like browning of an apple. It's rusting of the body from this excess oxidative stress. So if you're noticing that, that is a warning sign that you are consuming too many carbohydrates, blood sugar imbalances, and insulin resistance. So skin problems. <music>